Robbie Williams. Yes. Welcome to Shortlist.com. Thank you for having me. Uh, we would like to ask you about your guilty pleasures. I've had this discussion. I've, I've seen the list of questions that you're going to ask me, and I've got to say, I have no guilty pleasures. These are my real pleasures that I have no shame attached to. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah no, that's good. It's good to have no guilt. Um, the first one is song. Song? Uh, at the minute, my should be guilty pleasure, but it's just a pleasure, is I just met you. This is crazy. Here's my number. Call me, maybe. And then she goes a bit big-headed, and she goes, all the other boys try to chase me. Here's my number. Call me, maybe. So basically, she's going, I'm interested. Here's my number, which is a very modern woman. But then she's going, you should really be into me because all these other lads fancy me. And, um, and then she's exposed with the sex tape, which makes it even more interesting. Uh, so that's the song that is my pleasure at the minute. What about your album? Uh, album that should be considered a guilty pleasure but actually isn't, is a pleasure, is the soundtrack to Greece. Do you have a particular favourite track on there? There are worse things I could do than sleep with a boy or two. Though the neighbourhood thinks I'm slash trashy and no good. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to, I want to cover that song, but I want to take out the words uh, man, boys, and replace it with girls. Just in case the rumours start again. Yeah. Um, TV show? Um, any the, of the housewives of... So the housewives of Beverly Hills, the housewives of Orange County... The Housewives of um, New Jersey, uh, Basketball Wives, to um, Jeremy Kyle. Uh, UK or USA? Not too. I'm not that fond of the USA one. The UK, uh, I can because yeah, I've watched Jeremy Kyle USA. I'm not into it as much as the UK one. Um, next one is film. Greece. But not Grease 2. That was a travesty. Maxwell Court. What was his name? I think. Maxwell Caulfield. Yeah, he was in Grease 2 with the lovely Michelle Pfeiffer, yes. I want to say. What a fucking terrible movie that was. What was the question? I can't remember. Oh, food. Food. Guilty, Guilty pleasure. pleasure. Minstrels and prawn cocktail crisps. Right now, they are undoing all the good. That the cardiovascular activity that I'm doing, I I seem to be working out to eat minstrels and prawn cocktail crisps, and uh, no one likes a fat pop star. Magazine, four four two magazine, the football magazine. And why is that? Um, I like um, the article where the general public ask the ex-footballer questions and I find the interviews and articles informative. Is it, is it a little touch of home when you're in LA? It is a touch of home and it's kind of a grown-up match and shoot. Yeah. Um, website? Uh, AboveTopSecret.com it's for all your conspiracy needs, um, or you tinfoil hat wearing people out there um, that enjoy a good conspiracy. ATS is a very good place to be. Do you have a favourite conspiracy? Um, my favourite conspiracy is uh, the JFK conspiracy. Classic. It's a classic. It's the Mars bar of conspiracies. But my wife's grandmother actually worked with uh, Garrison on the case and we have probably the biggest assembled collection of evidence that there is anywhere in the world in our house it's the weirdest thing from the 60s We've got these huge files and it's fascinating and um, I feel as though I'm living a part of history by just having these things, this thing in my house. Okay. Uh, the final one I've got here is... It was a lone assassin. 
Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I've looked all the way through it, and it was a lone assassin, and it was mental, and it was a communist. Finally, item of clothing. Item of clothing, the trainer. Um, I'm never going to get along with grown-up shoes. The humble, the sneaker, as they call it in America, the trainer. Um, uh, that is my... Oh, the onesie, too. The onesie. Um, I've got a few onesies. I've got an all-pink onesie. Um, I've got uh, a white onesie, a grey onesie, a blue onesie with a bit of red. Um, but not the onesies that contain your feet because they feel claustrophobic. The onesie that are feetless to help you breathe. Otherwise, it's like being in a bed where you can't put your foot out of and we all know how restrictive that is. Do you think you could do for the onesie what David Beckham did for the sarong? Probably. Completely kill it? Yeah. Leave it to me. Not a problem. <laughs>